They'll be playing Epicenter in Irvine this Saturday night. But first, tonight we're going to help them clear their minds. You want to hear my fantasy? Loveline welcomes Hollywood Undead. Can somebody need some help? Fuck you up by myself. Is it a truth or lie? It's what you can't deny. American Tragedy, the newest album from Hollywood Undead, available everywhere. They'll be at the Epicenter this weekend. Who else is playing at the Epicenter, by the way? Uh, Stone Temple Pilots, Deftones. 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 Wow. My favorite band. That's right. Deftones. Uh, Favorite album is White Pony, yes? Yeah, and the Maracons. (laughs) (laughs) To Mar Maracona. Hey. Toronto (laughs) Toronto Blue Jay fan. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. And like I said, uh, Hollywood Undead will be out at the Epicenter. If you want tickets, epicenterfestival.com, hollywoodundead.com, the official website of the band. All right, let's dive into this threesome call. Leslie, hello. Thank you for calling Loveline. Hello. Um, So my number one fantasy is to be with two guys at once. Mm-hmm. And I was just wondering how I could go about bringing that up without freaking out a new partner. A new partner or a new boyfriend? Partner. No. You're and what, not, what, what's the difference? How do you define the difference, Leslie? Um, well, I'm not looking for a relationship right now, so it's more of just like a friend with benefits type thing. And Le- I know Leslie's... you guys are not like keen on that situation but it works out We're, for me it's worked in the past i just don't have time for a relationship right now leslie what i'm wondering is what makes you think that the reality is going to be as good as the fantasy in your head that's what i, I was know, wondering I, too sorry what was that we're all, we're all wondering, um, because this is a serious question, what makes you think and so convinced that the reality of having a threesome with two guys will be as fantastic as it is in your head? Because in your head, tell me what, what you're imagining, that there's two men adoring you and treating you like a goddess. What else? Double penetration. Yeah. I just think it would be really cool to have, I don't know, two guys, like all their attention on me. Like, I don't know, it just it really turns me on. And it turns you on in your mind. The reality, and I'm going to now throw it over to the gentleman in this room. The reality could be what? The hard rock room in Vegas. Yeah. To total Asian studs. It could be, it could be horrific. Club I think what we're saying is it could be absolutely horrific. It can go, it can oh, go was, one of two that ways. That was best case scenario. That's best case scenario. It can go one of two ways, Leslie. Uh, you can find two guys that are definitely down for it, and it's going to live up to your expectations sexually, but you're going to feel uh, maybe desensitized emotionally. Uh, you you have to go into it wondering what is it, is this just purely for physical love? You're or 19 physical attention? years old. You know, it just, I, it just sounds like something fun that I've always wanted to try. Like I'm really experimental. I just want to like have fun and give it a try. I understand that. When, whenever I hear a 19 year old talk like that, though, I, I know it's some kind of trauma yeah it's just always we can we can dive we can ring this chamois out all night i swear i do not have any sort of trauma like Mm. i just i I don't know i just want to try it well it sounds like trauma to come right i mean that would be uh it doesn't sound beneficial to you i mean well if it's a friends with benefits guy what 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 uh right does he have to to say anything right i mean that you're 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 the basis of your call is how do i bring it up to this guy without freaking him out but it doesn't sound like he's your boyfriend or that you care about him in that way anyway so why why are you even concerned just why say do you i'd care? love to bring in a new guy because it's a hassle if i freak him out and scare him away it's just a hassle to find the okay other one. leslie but the more we talk about okay, it see, i'm so, gonna yeah, say here's, to here's you, the problem you're treating people like objects and yeah. people that do that have got stuff going on whether it's a male or female there's some reason for that. And it, it's it's a problem. It may not be bothering you yet, but mark my words, it will be a problem in your life. And like, Leslie, as... Do, do you a, agree with me, Samantha? Yeah, I thoroughly agree. Right. And I, as a woman, I'm going to back up Dr. Drew. As an expert, I'm going to back up Dr. Drew. Like the interest and itself I, in that, right? Hmm? Hmm? Out of yeah. your, the interest in that itself is some... No, the way, the way she talks about... The guy, like, I don't want to freak him out because it's a hassle to find a replacement. Right. The, the males are right. just like Kleenex tissues. And that, mm. when, if a male mm. treated a woman like that, if a woman treated a man like, like that. that. Understood. It, Leslie, you do. You, you have to be no, you're very clear Les- about that. And uh, Les- no, I, Like, it's just a hassle for me to find another guy who I actually, like, am attracted to in, like, a way that I like their personality and hanging okay, out with. Okay, guess, guess how you can do that. Object. Guess how you can do that. 
you can do that by keeping this fantasy in your head. I cannot stress that more. Mm -hmm. My problem is not my us. problem is not the fantasy. My problem is the whole way she thinks about relationships and sexuality. Uh, plenty of women find the two guy thing very satisfying. Yes, in they, their head. not at nineteen. Not at nineteen, by the way. But, but later in life, you've talked to women that have thought it was a great thing when they sure. did it. Sure, but yeah. Doctor Drew, <laughs> in yeah. their head. No, no, we've talked to women who have, have done it and thought it was. I'm not saying it's, I'm not recommending it. But I've talked to women that thought that they lived that fantasy out. It was a good thing they did it. Okay, great. But they weren't 19. Mm. They were not right. 19. It's something mm. you got to live with, just so you know. Like, if you do it and you get a future boyfriend and you got it out of your system, he's going to judge you for that. So yeah. if you do it, there's no turning back. Like, you might regret it down the road and you can never take that away. I'm sorry, dude. You're still a child at 19. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, no, you are. And, uh, again, I, I don't think think that there's anything intrinsically wrong with fantasizing about a threesome whether no matter what the, the combo is, is uh, and, and nor, nor is some, it's that you know and i i think that the way she made it made it sounds like well i want to live out this fantasy but i don't want to sacrifice my friends with benefits it's an awfully desensitized way to look at things at mm -hmm. all things i don't know oh, well. I, I don't know all I right agree. Being that uh, you guys, you know, you do definitely uh, have fun on the road, and you're 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 living the dream of that you probably always had to be professional touring musicians, and you're you're successful, and you and all the fun that comes along with that. How do, I, I'm assuming it's a fine line though between having fun on the road and do, get engaging in behavior that can destroy the whole band. How do you guys take preventive measures, if there are any, to making sure that you don't do that? Well, I mean, we all take care of each other. Mm -hmm. on the road and we all look out for each other and stuff like that and a lot of the things are too you know like uh one thing that comes to mind is that girl was 19 years old i wasn't on the road when i was 19 if i was i probably would have made those same decisions or choices or i had that same thought process but i was a grown person and i really understand that i really do luckily i i am thankful enough that when we started touring and stuff like that i was old enough to go okay this is right and this is wrong right and the people around me were, knew the difference between right and wrong as well. So if you are going to make a bad decision, someone's there to go, hey, cut the crap. But um, that, I think, is the most important thing is that we take care of each other because that's really all you have is your friends and okay. the people around you. And you surround yourself with the wrong people, you're going to get in deep stuff and yada, yada. Sometimes it can't just be that, you know, a wolf in his wolf pack. And, you know, he's only strong as, as those he surrounds himself with. Yeah, you got to yeah. encourage each other. You know, you see someone doing something stupid, like, hey, knock it off because mm. we all got to live together. You know? Whenever I see one of these guys getting too drunk, I always give them a bump of coke to let them sober up a <laughs> right. little bit. You know, yeah, before they drive them, home. Before yeah, I, <laughs> I don't want them to get too he, hammered. He's the wolf, Matt. You said the wolves. Yeah. And when the wolf master comes oh, back oh, to the lair, oh, he wakes yeah. me up. And I'm doing drugs. I'm doing all that. No, I'm just going <laughs> yeah. to. I don't just want to sleep in. Mainlining. Who needs a DUI? So let's see what bump. 1-800-LOVE-191 yeah. is the number. Hollywood Undead in the house tonight. Epicenter is this weekend. Deftone, Stone Temple Pilots, and the Hollywood Undead, amongst other bands. Epicenterfestival.com is the official website. If you would like to get tickets, and HollywoodUndead.com is the website. More with the band and someone trying to stop smoking the weed. It's getting to their finances. Ooh. It's getting to their life. It's getting in the way of them getting a good job. We're going to talk to them and see... What we can do for him next on the fun. The honeymoon isn't over after all, people. Introducing Mask Sexual Flavors. Buy online today at sexualflavors.com. Richer looking, better tasting, 